It's time for another system test with the ADT Unimode 10UD Fire Alarm Control Panel. I have kind of a unique system today, so let's check it out. This right here is a Simplex 2099-9138 pole station. As you can see, it's all metallic, unlike the other Simplex T-Bar pole stations. Going up, I have a System Sensor 2WB i3 photoelectric smoke detector. We will be testing this one out first today, so stay tuned for that. And then to the right of that, we do have a heat detector, but we're not going to worry about testing that today. Above the i3, we have a System Sensor Alarm. This right here is a H12-24 Spectre Alert Classic horn only. And that is going to be coded to March time by the Fire Alarm Control Panel. And that will be kind of interesting to hear. To the right of that we have a System Sensor Spectre Alert Advanced and as you can see it has the agent lettering on the sides and that will go off when I activate the Pyrotronics Halon Extinguishing System Pole Station which we'll also try and test that today. To the right of the Agent Spectre Alert Advanced we have a Tectone Corridor Light. We're also going to try and test this today and this is just a medical corridor light. You see these all the time in hospitals and basically, if you activate something, like a Tectone pull cord, then it will activate the quarter light, set off some alarms and stuff. But on this system, only the quarter light is wired up. Fire alarm control panels usually don't run those medical alert systems, but they can sometimes. And then on the very right side of the board, we have a Gentex alarm. This is a HS24-30WR. And the 30 in that means that the strobe is fixed. 30 candela, you can kind of see it written in the bottom there if you look hard. So the brightness setting is 30 candela on the strobe. And it is being coded to code 3 by the fire alarm control panel. And it's wired for two wire operations. Putting that all together in total, we have my fire alarm demonstration board. Or at least one of them. <laughs> and I really enjoy this board because I'm able to show you all the different fire alarm devices, whether it's new or old, that exist today and how they all work together in today's world, or at least with this panel. So today we're going to test that system sensor smoke detector first and we're going to use some actual smoke. So obviously you never want to play with fire at home, but I'm just going to light this piece of paper right here, just the edge of it, to make some smoke. And then we will hold that under the smoke detector. It's really smoky. And now the entire system is silenced. So this one's the one that's going beep, 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 beep. And that's March time code. And this, and this one is the one going beep, beep, beep. And that is what we call code three or temporal three in the fire alarm world. And now we're gonna go ahead and reactivate the system with the simplex pull station that is right under the smoke detector. All right, here we go. Some people in the comments might call that music, but to me, <laughs> this is a really ear-piercing and loud system. So anyways, now that that pole station is pulled, we can go ahead and reset it. To reset this pole station, we need a simplex key, which I have, thankfully. <laughs> and you can just lift the handle back up and close the pole station, but I'll show you the inside. And there's the model sticker. You can pause the, the video and read that if you'd like. Let's go ahead and reset the main fire alarm control panel. And then we'll test some of the other devices there on the system. Let's, let's do that agent alarm. So agent basically means discharging agent, which is like 
a Halon system, FM200 system, some sort of fire suppression system. And these devices are really only found in larger buildings. Oh. The smoke detector reactivated because it was so smoky. So sometimes they need, these need some time to just air out. But um, anyways, these agent devices are really found in large, important buildings where they do not want the contents inside of them burning. So server rooms, you know, air, tra air traffic control towers and stuff like that. And basically, with when this alarm goes off, it means that the fire suppression system in that building is activating, and you definitely want to leave if you haven't already. <laughs> so, obviously, I have no fire suppression system hooked up. It's just the alarm. But we can go ahead and demonstrate setting that alarm off with the Halon extinguishing system pull station. And three, two, one. And now the system is reset. Hopefully that smoke detector doesn't reactivate. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, we'll go ahead and test the Tectone emergency corridor light system. And we'll just do that. They're really simple to activate. You can just pull it down or they're also, you can attach a pull cord to them. So for example, like in a bathroom, if you fall on the floor and you can't get up, you can just pull the pull cord, which I'll go ahead and do here. And there it goes. As you can see, the panel says Medic Alert, and the corridor light is lit up. And this light would be on the outside of whatever room was activated for the Tectone pull cord. So you can go ahead and activate the panel, and there's the light that's lit up. And this is like a very, very, very basic example of what these systems do. Obviously. More advanced systems have alarms and stuff that are wired into them. So, we can go ahead and reset the panel. And we can lock up the other panel. And I think we'll call that a test for today. Oh, classic, forgot to reset that. All right, now we can reset the panel. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching this system test. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Definitely go check out some other videos and have a great day, everyone.